Aloha everyone, Daniel Molina here. I am at Hui Mai Ai Aina here in Wamanalo. There is a market going on. If you remember this community, this is a community that Kalo Outreach has been out here serving it, um, helping them build a farm, sustainability, um, and just really supporting this beautiful, beautiful land with Uncle Willie and Auntie Blanche. And I'm going to be interviewing people here today. And it is a beautiful day. Look at those Ko'olau Mountains. Beautiful. This is a really beautiful property. And it's just so cool to see all the houses that they're building for the community. Um, just making this place better for the people that were homeless. Um, you know, they, and, and actually they were homeless and now they're just houseless. They're not homeless. And, and what that really means is that they have a home. This is a home for them, right? Obviously they don't have a huge house or just a house for their family. But what Auntie Blanche here and the community here and all the people here and her family is supporting this community. They are creating a home. Um, and, and this could just be a transition until they have a house, right? They are selling their items. They are creating commerce, right? So it's cool. They're not just wanting free handouts. They're actually trying to make money so that they can provide for them and their needs and the things that they want to do and the vision that God has for them. And so I'm going to go around and interview people and share with you what they're doing. All right, here's Lucy, my better half, right? I'm the not so good half. With Lucy, what, 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 what are we doing here? Why are we here? So we are here to, number one, support this community um, in their very first ever market, which is amazing, um, being able to open it up to the rest of the Waimanalo community um, for the vendors to come out. You know, there's just a lot of business owners um, all over the island, really, but even here in Waimanalo, and they're just small business owners, and Hui Mahiai is giving them a place to sell their, their products, to be known, and so we're here to just talk with the vendors as well interview them see what kind of help we could offer for them as far as getting the word out about their business letting other people know that they're here and what services and products that they have for the people so i'm um, super excited about that i've already kind of walked around a little bit and i'm seeing a lot of really cool talents and people that are skilled with um, just amazing things and produce to offer and yeah so there's like little tiny farm owners that are bringing their produce to sell and jewelry makers and things like that so it's awesome um yeah can't wait to go meet all the vendors all right we're here with connie ala hey, what are you selling what are you teaching I see some poi boards here what, what's going on here oh we try to teach cultural in uh teaching you how to clean the kalo cookie the kalo and then learn how to eat it yeah, that's good. And it's that's so the easiest part. good. So tell me what's here. This is poi boards. Did you make them yourself? And yes, sir. So tell me about it. Like, what's going on here? Uh, this is a, a, I have a monkey pod and mango board. Okay. So they, they were made out of trees that fell. And then we went to slab it. And then we created a, a it's kind of like a modern version of a, a regular poi board. Because a regular poi board would just stay one place. Okay. Uh, this ones are meant to, like, Go holo holo. Uh, some of these boards been to the palace. Some oh, wow. of these boards been to um, where else? We've been to Wainai. We've been to Kahalu. We've been these guys traveled. <laughs> mm. I know this brother, and he's trying to have a poi board at every church. Is that right? Yes, yeah, and every home that. even. In um, every home. Um, I had a dream that I was supposed to take it into the church. Mm. Uh, so the church that God gave me the dream is. Uh, Kauai Hau. So I was walking, uh, the dream was walking in Kauai Hau with a board in stone and, and, and to Kui there. And I'm, I'm asking God, why? why? Why is that? And then so when I told my pastor, she told me, hey, come do it at, at, at my church. It changed me. I've been to uh, a lot of churches. I, I actually, uh, God has blessed me to work with a lot of pastors as well. Wow. You know, and um, so I'm, I'm just, I just want to inspire them and it's up to them. That's mm. all I can do is inspire them and says, hey, if you want to learn, I'd be more than happy to teach. Oh, pleasure to see you, brother. Okay, aloha. Aloha. All right, tell me what's your name and what are you selling here? Uh, Kaho Okele, and I'm selling my earrings, my jewelry, my necklaces. This is my sweetheart, Kaniala's work, woodworking mm. for um, hair pieces and his pa'i. Ai. Wow, that is awesome. And tell me about what you're doing here. What, what brought you here and what are you selling all this stuff? Um, we were invited here by Adam um, and yeah, just trying to grow our business and um, get out into the community more so that they know what we have out here available mm. um, as far as our jewelry and 
and uh, woodworking stuff. We're also working to see if we can get people to come out for workshops with Uncle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, make their own boards and pohako. Yeah. So, yeah. Right on. That. All right, I'm about to come be over here with the man. I want everyone to meet Uncle Willie right here. <laughs> Uncle Willie, what are you doing here? What's what's your market? What's what's going on here? I'm making smoked meat plate and selling smoked meat in bags, ten dollars a pound. Nice. Yeah. So tell me, like, so is this a business that you run that people can actually hire you out to to cook for them, or what uh, yeah, is it? I just do, I do parties. Yeah, okay. I cater parties. Yeah. And how can they find you? What's where, where they can find you? You just gotta call my call my number or call my wife's number. Okay. And what number can they they call? They okay. Get you? For me, it's uh, 808-347-8515. And you can do weddings. Like, what's the lowest you'll do and the highest you'll do when it comes uh, to catering? Well, the most I ever did was 2,000 people. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And so, and so from, if you want to, like, bomb, choke, lao lao, that is consistent. One thing I remember eating his food, that when he was cooking, I think it was time, he was cooking, like, for 250 or 300 people, the lao lao was consistent. And that's really hard to do as a cook is to make sure the consistency stays the same in every bite, in every, the quality of everything. And, yeah. man, it was, like so tender yeah. it just fell apart it was yeah. so good yeah. so this guy uncle willie auntie blanche is his wife she's beautiful we're gonna also talk to her today but he's here selling plate lunch at the market and you gotta call this guy if you want to throw a party okay. all right we're here with auntie joey and <laughs> residents here and yes, we might yes, awesome am. tell me what are you doing here today well we are having our fun fair today to raise money and we are running, um, me and my partner, Christine, is running the, the white booth here, where we're selling clothes, dishes, all, all sorts of things. And that, why are you raising money? What, what, what's the... For the people to go to Israel. Beautiful. Yes, they're going Beautiful. to be going to Israel. Uh, a few of them going. So that's what we're fundraising for. Isn't that awesome? Like, yes, God's blessed them with, oh, yes. with with everything here and Auntie Blanche, the community and the family. Yes. It's so beautiful. And you're like, you know what? Let's let's bless the community with going to Israel yes. and just raise money. Amen. Love all the stuff that we see here. Yes. So, especially, uh, especially our Auntie Blanche that mm. runs this place here. Uh, without her, we don't know where we would be. Mm. So, yeah, she's a blessing onto us. Mm. Definitely come on down, you know, enjoy the, the sun. We have all, you know, sorts of uh, boots here. We have shave ice. We have uh, cotton candy. We have poke nachos. We have all kinds of... Pai which is it's pounding poi. Yes. Oh, yeah. We have all sorts of fattening food and skinny food. <laughs> right. And a playground for the kids. Playground for the kids. Yes. Live, music, Live music. All day. All so day. Y'all need to come next time. Thank you yes. so much. Yes. Aloha. Thank you. My name is Brian. I'm uh, a resident here. And community day, show me some shave ice. Nice. And how long have you been here as a resident? Uh, four years. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah. yeah. So let me ask you this. You've been here four years. Yep. You came in. You yeah. found out about this place, yeah. and and you see the fruit of who you are as a person. Yeah. How has this impacted you for the better? Like what what's the qualities and the values that you have now that you didn't have then? Like how's uh, it has it improved your life and yeah. has it improved you as an individual? It gave me some humbleness, some compassion, and um, to I guess love one another. I guess. Mm. So much, as a community. Yeah. So it, it taught you to love others yeah. and give you more compassion, yeah. which is exactly what Christ says to do, right? Exactly. To love God with all your heart and to yeah. love your neighbor as you love yourself. Right. Amazing. Well, thank you so much, brother, yeah, okay. for your time. Yep. I am here with one of my favorite human beings, Auntie Lucy. Auntie Lucy, you've been here how long? And then tell me how this place has impacted your life. I've been here four years. Sorry. Sorry? My voice, but it has impacted my life immensely. Um, words cannot describe how I feel about this place, you mm. know, it's God's country. God's country, yeah, yeah. 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 Wamanalo well, is known as yes. God's country. Yeah, yeah. So, what Auntie Blanche has done for me, I'm very grateful. Mm. And bless her a hundredfold, you mm. know, yes, her and her family. How has my impacted you like what's the biggest impact you have for you my substance mm. yeah. you know um it's a good thing you know to keep everybody on track mm -hmm. but yeah so am i hearing you saying your value like you, you realize how valuable you are yeah, i don't have anywhere else to go my parents 
are in heaven. Mm. And, um, you know, my mom's house in Maui, my nephew has it. So I used to live in my Manalo, and when they brought me back here, this is my home. Because mm. the first day I walked on the Aina, mm. I knew I was home. Mm, I love that. <laughs> yeah. She knew she was home. When she walked on the line now. Yeah. Right on. Yes, yes. Well, thank you so much, yes, Auntie. You're Bro, hey, what's going on? Tell me about why you were here. Who who are you? These people don't know Hi, you. Watch, I know you. Carl, and I've been living here at the back end ever since it started, four years. And it's a beautiful place to be. Question I've been asking, you've been here four years. Yes. What is the number one most impactful thing that this community, Hui Mai, has done for you? Um, made me change my ways and just... um feel as a family here yeah place family. where you belong yes i remember um talking to you a while back and you said you found purpose yeah purpose. tell me about that well like i i'm i mean we were charged in a garden so we put, we're taking care of the garden and there's a lot of plants being fruitful and beautiful yeah so that's what keeps me going you know, that plants and stuff like that awesome. just to see it come out raised up make the flowers they're beautiful mm. yeah awesome well thank you so much brother okay yeah it's good to thank see you. you uncle yeah all right we're here what, what we got here we got some refresher coolers mango strawberry coolers and wow. nachos. Wow, Poki Nachos. Nachos. Tell me, who are you? Why are you here? And tell me I, about yourself. I live on HMA. And Oops. this is like a little family little thing going on with me and all my kids. But we love it. Yeah. Right. Family, little family business. Nice. And where can they find you if they want more of you? Ooh, every fundraiser is every other month here on HMA. Okay. You can find us here. Poki Nachos, Strawberry Mango Coolers. Nice. So, so tell me how has this uh, um, community impacted you for the good? Got to learn how to um, get along with one another, love each other, and, you know, come together as one right and on. move forward. And how long have you been here? Uh, it's going to be like a good two years I've been here. Two years. So yeah. you came in, right? And so you look back in two years. Tell me, like, the number one thing that, that what, what value that we might uh, bring to you in, um, looking back and where you are today. Learn how to save money. <laughs> <laughs> we can all learn that, right? Right, right. Right, right on. So learn how to stewardship, right? Yes. So how to steward money. Yes. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much. So they know how to steward money. They're here selling this awesome food and these refreshers, right? Because they want to be good stewards of what God's given them. So thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers. My name is Cole. Um, my, my wife is Angela. She's the one that came up with Makua Creations. Uh, we sell... Uh, on guard hand sanitizer, homemade baby powder, mm. and all these products is tested because we, we I have my own three kikis too, yeah. and I tested it all on them, and nothing has happened, nothing you know affected them. So we we are not gonna sell a product that's not you know works. Yeah. And she she's been in the Tetero oil business, and this is her creations. And I have a bunch of candles mm. that are uh, lavender, uh, lemon, and tea tree oil. Oh wow! So you know lavender how that affects her. Yeah. Yeah. Tea tree is just for like another sickness you can place in there and the whole house can fumigate with it. Yeah. And she also makes some um, Hawaiian language digital uh, planners on the computer. Oh, wow. Yeah. So she makes the whole thing out of whatever you want to do as plan for your, say, your goals. Mm. You got your car bill, whatever it is. You put that in the gold and that she makes a whole planner. Okay. So you're going to find them? Just come to the next market? Yes. Just come down to here. See, come find me sitting down underneath the table. Makua Creations and... Oh, uh, gotta talk a little story about all these oils. All oh, right. Mm, thank you so much, brother. Yes, I appreciate so it. Course, so Aloha. Thank you. Okay, I am here, Auntie. Tell me your name. What are you doing? What's what's going on here? My name is Danset Yachman, and I am here selling things I have made or was donated to fund a trip, two trips to Israel. Wow, and you're yeah. a resident here? No, I live at Kupuna Housing, but I come here for church, mm. Kupuna Church. Right on. Yeah. And you're part of this community of yes. Kupuna Church? Yes. And I do come and help the community. All right. Aloha. Let everyone know 
Yes. Auntie, I know I know you, but these people don't know you. Tell who you are, where you live, why are you here, what are we doing here? I'm Rati Raz. I was a resident here at Hui Mahiai Aina. I no longer reside here. I'm at Weinberg at the beginning of Aiwanalo. And I'm here because we have a lot of clothes that we want we wanted to help people buy, you know, so we're helping to fundraise. And um, we're selling our clothes for two dollars with tags and dollar without tags. So if you guys are able to come out, come on out. Right on. And tell me, so you were here, a resident. I remember. Yes. And uh, tell me how Hui Mai has blessed you. Being here humbled me a whole lot. That's the blessing that I got was being taught to be to humble myself with um, working with people. There's a lot of work to do here. When you come here, you work hard. <laughs> Auntie Blanche is a slave driver, but it taught me how to work with people easier than before. Before I would like just more like order people to do things where here I learned how to ask for people to help to do things. And that way it worked a whole lot better. Mm. I'm leaving myself in love, mm. lots of love. Mm. So it's almost like you're learning how to know um, walk in humility, but to even lead out of humility where yes. you're asking versus telling and ordering, yes. right? Yes. I know you're one of the biggest leaders here as well. And, and it, I've seen it at work, you humbly asking and supporting and serving. And I think that's the key to being a leader yes. is to serve the community and serve out of humility, not out of right. power. Yes. And, you know, so. The power don't get you nowhere. They don't want to work for you if you're using power. Thank you so much for sharing this. Again, guys, you can find her here. Thank you so much. Aloha. All right, so tell me your name, age, what school do you go to? Yeah, my name is Taven, 14, and I go to Wamanalo Elementary. Oh, wait, intermediate. <laughs> intermediate. So. Intermediate, you graduated from uh, yeah. elementary, right? Right on. How about you? My name is Jensen. I'm 14, I go to Kailu Inter. Awesome. Looks like you play sports, man. What kind of sports you play? I play football. Football, what position? Safety, wide receiver. Nice. What's your favorite part of football? Scoring. Scoring. <laughs> How about you? Play sports? Not anymore. Not anymore. Awesome. What do you do now for fun? Fight chickens. Fight chickens. <laughs> you know what? In Puerto Rico, they fight chickens. That's where I'm from. All right. So, so tell me, you've been here how long in this community? Uh, I've been here five years. Five years. And tell me how, what are some of the highlights? What what, is, what do you see that's good from this community that's taught you in life? Everybody, everybody's one family. It's not like everybody's against each other at all. Family. Right on. How about you? Do you feel loved? And if you do, why do you feel loved? Because everyone's um, connected over here. Everyone's connected. Um, let me ask you one last question. So, when you think about other kids out there, right, living life, yeah. that don't get to have this blessing with you guys, what would you tell them? Uh, keep your head high. No matter what you go through, it's always going to come to an end. Anyways. Awesome. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate it. I am here with Auntie Blanche, the woman that's behind all of this with Uncle huh? Willie and her family. And Auntie, tell me um, what you're doing today. What's the goals and what are you trying to do? Today, I'm trying to make more homes, more people to come home where they belong. And I want to take care of everyone. I have a couple of people that are sick in stage four cancer. I just had one just came home from the hospital today. She only has two months to live. But you know what? I told the doctors and the nurses, I will bring her home where she belongs because she wants to be home. And I told her yesterday when I was at the hospital, I said, I'm going to take care of you until the day you leave me. Mm -hmm. And I want to ask you one more question, one more answer you give me. Where do you want to go when I cremate you? She said, I want to go in the ocean. Mm -hmm. I said, why? Do you want to stay by me all the time? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, she says she wants to stay here mm -hmm. with us. Mm. So I'm going to give her her wish come true. Yes. Mm. So, Auntie, I've been here several times. Yes. And I see more houses over there. Yes. Wow. That's yeah. amazing. You keep building. Uh, you keep building. Yes. We so have what, 43 homes. Wow. So tell me, what's the biggest need and how can people get involved um, when they kind of feel a tug on their heart to want to help you guys? Okay. So the uh, most important thing is that we want more homes, but we've been getting donations for um, materials. And we have people here from the military that comes in and help us to build the homes. Mm. And then yeah, Chaplain Matt that yes, still comes yes, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still yet, he's still coming. And then plus our garden, we just cleaning up the area where we're gonna put a hundred um, corn into the ground and a hundred watermelon. Oh wow. Yes, and we cleaned the area already with to put the all of that. So mm. it's gonna be soon. 
Yes. Mm-hmm. So then what I'm hearing is you need help labor. People come. Help. Yes. Yes. Um, material continue to be donated. So exactly. you want to donate material to build homes. Um, they're building like what? 10 by 10 units, 20 yes. by 10 units. Is yes, we are. Yes, we are. 10 by 10s. But actually, I'm going to try to see if we can build three more 20 by 20 okay. for the families. The larger yeah. families, yes. right? So you got the uncles and the aunties that are single or maybe yeah. have a small kind family. But you got the kind that had three, four kids yes. that need bigger, bigger space. Bigger yeah. space. That is correct. Yes. All right. Right yeah. on. So then, guys, this is Hui Mai. And they are here doing a market. Yes. Right? You're going to do this every month. Right. Yes, I'm um, actually it's every other month okay. we're gonna do it. The fundraising is about I'm you know the homeless people never seen light mm-hmm. of God. I they never seen the love of God. Mm. So I'm gonna take them on a trip to Israel, mm. and we're leaving November 13th. I mean November 6th, and I want to make money for them. Mm. Yes, it's just so cool. I was talking yes. to some of the residents, and they're saying, uh, you know, it's it's cool for them to yeah. actually sell things and try to raise money. I mean, they've been so blessed by you. And a lot yeah. of them are saying is that they feel home. They feel yeah, like family. Yes. Or right? they feel love. I said, why do you feel love? Because mm-hmm. everyone's connected. Everyone learns how to communicate right. and speak yes, to each yes. other with love. Uh-huh. And it's right. because you're leading them to do that. Yeah. So you should be proud that you're teaching oh, them how to thank love. thank you. <laughs> That's why I'm so proud of them, too, because our leaders has been very good. Mm. They've been, you know, being, they're being the person who they wanted to be, mm. you know, the head, and they wanted to make sure that everything runs smooth in the back. Mm, Instead of me coming from the front and scolding people in the back. <laughs> <laughs> so now they do it. Right on. Yes. Well, thank you, Auntie Blanche. Always good you, to see you. And I can't wait to continue to do more with oh. you as we continue to bless the people here. Thank you. Know. Thank you very much. Mahalo. All right. I'm here with Gabriel with Teen Challenge Hawaii Islands. Tell me a little bit about what you guys do and how we can support you. Um, my name is uh, Gabriel, like you said. <laughs> well, earlier today I was doing um, door-to-door fundraising to help keep the doors open. We fundraise in the communities that we go to and ask them if this is something they would like to make a contribution to. Um, Adult Teen Challenge of the Hawaiian Islands is a program that helps people with all addictions. God's arm is not too short to reach. And this is one of the avenues that he takes. This is one of the fingertips of God that helps people in the communities, in the world to get better Um, it's a bridge that reunites people with their family members it helps the renewing of the mind we saturate ourselves in jesus and in prayer we read the word every morning we pray every morning Um, we go out into the community and we help them in work calls we go out and we clean churches we attend church functions we share our testimonies around the island we do our best to set a good example for other people to to follow because um our character precedes um, our advice that we give. So hopefully we can be genuine lights out there in the world and um, that our lights will shine before men that they may see our good works and glorify our Father which is in heaven. Amen. So Gabriel, you're one of the students, right? One of them came out of this program. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, that this program is a one year long program. And after you graduate, they do encourage you to stay on longer as an intern to to help the younger generation in the program get through the program easier. And they also encourage you, if you want to go to Bible college, they send you up to TCMI, which is in California. Yeah, that's uh, what it is. That's in awesome. The, in the program uh, that I that I know about. Mm. Tell me how, how they can um, donate. So what website, How if they want to get plugged in and help you guys, where can they go? Um, well, you can look us up online. Teen Challenge of the Hawaiian Islands is online. So Google Teen Challenge Hawaii yeah, Islands. Teen Challenge of the You'll Hawaiian find Islands. him, get involved. This guy's lived right through it. He's a great testimony. I've got to meet him today and I already see Jesus all over him. So I know it works. So thank you so much, Gabriel, for your hey, time. Thank you so much. And we're going to see how we can friend, support Daniel. you, brother. Thank you. Thank you so all much. All right. All right, guys, we are here wrapping up in Hui Mai, and it has been amazing talking to all the residents, seeing old friends. Lucy and I have been here tons of times to help. And we will continue to help. Uh, beautiful to see that all the brothers and sisters have come out and continue to come out to keep building. Um, and it's just been amazing um, what God is doing here. And another great thing about the residents is that, man, they, they just look happy. The joy that's in their eyes. The sense of just feeling like they're part of the family. That was kind of like a common thread. I feel like I'm home. I feel like I learned how to communicate. And it humbled me. And um, just, just being around these people. And so that's just amazing. It's amazing to see what God is doing here um, and continuing to do here uh, with Auntie Blanche and Uncle Willie and her family, uh, what God's doing. And then um, heard also a lot of good things, even with 
the government of Hawaii trying to come behind here and champion them too as well. And so we need to get behind organizations like this, guys. They're already solutions, right? This is 25 acres. They're getting another 15 acres, I think, or 14 acres. So we already have existing solutions. And so get behind this solution. Get behind many solutions like this. Um, stop waiting on other people or starting new things. You, we don't need a new thing. There's tons of things that we can already be doing with the people that are already doing it. And this is one organization that you want to get behind. I'm not saying you can't do anything new, but man, let's just let's just be a good steward of what we have already been given, right? We're getting behind these people here and helping them here in Wamanalo and really other, there's tons, there's um, over a hundred organizations here in Hawaii that's helping people, the residents of Hawaii, championing them to number one, find Christ, which is the true hope of glory. And then two, um, why they're on this side of heaven to live an abundant life, um, to be blessed, to feel loved, and then to take that love that came from the Father and then bring it out to the community and pour that love into other people. This is Daniel Molina, Lucy, signing off here. And I look forward to what's to come with Inside Outreach and everything that's going to happen from that. Aloha.